You never think two words could change a person. Last summer, I got a job at Chick-fil-A. You know, the place with the big red sign and the walls lined with bricks? Yeah, they're all pricks. Stay late learning Chick-fil-A's politics. I'm like an addict who can't get enough of his fix. White and hetero. Those were the only clicks. People told me this job could change my life. I could meet a friend, an enemy, or a wife. Sat me down multiple times talking about eternal life. A day in the life of a Chick-fil-A worker. Wake up, 5 a.m., cry, 501. Get to work, 6 a.m., start taking orders, 615. Damn, I need some Dramamine. Legs moving faster than my body, shaking like a tambourine. More pissed off than Wolverine, head spinning like a washing machine. Welcome to Chick-fil-A, my name is Landon, how may I serve you? Head ringing like an automated voicemail machine. But because of store policy, I must alter my reality. Yelling louder than a referee, treating guests like celebrities in a limousine. Damn, I need some Dairy Queen. C-H-I-C-K-F-I-L-A. C is for crappy. H is for unhappy. I is for intolerable. C is for easily conquerable. K is for kids. Kiss my ass. M is for you're slow, speed it up, be faster. I is for I am a disaster. L is for the loneliness you feel. And A is the attitude you wish you could give. After serving every meal, these nine letters represent me. From 6 to 11, that is who I'll be. We are open Monday through Saturday. You never think two words could change a person. We have cars in the drive through constantly. Constantly I'm taking other people's orders. Constantly making the drinks for other people's orders. Constantly bagging the food for other people's orders. Repeating myself over and over. Do I have a mental disorder? You never think two words could change a person. Last year, I still had a job at Chick-fil-A. They didn't appreciate the purse I wore into work. Thought my outfits were berserk. Hated my artwork. Well, it's just work, so cry about it. You never think two words could change a person. I worked 40 hours a week. I was tired as hell, so to speak. Didn't have time to take a leak. Was Chick-fil-A my peak? I tried to speak, couldn't let it a squeak. Blushing harder than a blood-soaked creek. You have to do it right, you have to do it right, you have to do it right. This is tradition, this is technique. We've done it since the dawn of time. Rules engraved in stone like an old antique. You never think two words could change a person. Last year, a virus swept through the dining room like a swift autumn breeze. The new normal was face shields and vaccines, and somehow this was my fault. Yelled at over and over like an overdue reprise. I wore a shirt that says thick filet with three C's because the weight of my body shouldn't embody my spirit. My endearments, somehow these stretch marks make me incoherent. Well, here I am, world of fat homosexual shit. He's on clearance. You never think two words could change a person. Sat down with some friends after finishing my day at Chick-fil-A. They didn't appreciate how I swayed, how I relayed, how I conveyed. I was a butt on everyone's ashtray. Told my mom to go away. It was only Monday. Left my doors open, car unlocked like some shitty valet. I cannot be appreciated because I was gay. But it's a great day at Chick-fil-A. When you're hired, you have officially retired. You have laid down everything because the only thing that matters is a tear sweat and the blood spatter. This job is more important than family, than normality, than hospitality. This job is the center of gravity, Chick-fil-A, and Christianity. Blur your vision of sanity. When you're hired, you were taught about masculinity. But if you cry, cuss, or worry, you're upsetting the Holy Trinity. Judge gawked and laughed at when my friend came in after losing her virginity. Yes, I own up to my femininity. When you put on your attire, you've officially signed up for bigotry. Yes, I get you believe a little differently, but the words productivity and responsibility have been engulfed by religiously spiritually and deliberately you don't care what your employees have to say unless they are white straight skinny and everything but gay so take note take notice of the environment created before it's time to get cremated and as you clock on and off and on and off and on and off. You start to realize that there is no prize. Yes, I'm supersized and yes, I'm gay, but as I'm traumatized, this job is summarized and symbolized because this franchise is more important. Have you forgotten which coffin shall I purchase? You treat me like I'm worthless. Hey boss, I need a favor. I know I'm not as perfect as your savior. So please remember I'm my own flavor of queerness and fierceness and fearlessness. This body does not reflect my faithfulness. Yeah, I no longer have a job at Chick-fil-A. So as I remember how high I've climbed, start using my own words, no need to pantomime. And as I climb up and rise up, stop and take a look at yourself. Taking time to focus on myself, turn a new leaf, dust off an old bookshelf, taking the view like Teddy Roosevelt. Chick-fil-A without measure, the final order.
is truly my pleasure.